poker, you have to experiment with different strategies. You have to actually come up with creative ways of, of achieving your goals. In this case, you know, winning the most chips from your opponent. Post-game analysis, you've got to look at your results, you've got to look at your strategies, figure out which ones are working, figure out why those are working, and then implement those again, and feedback again, same in science. You've noticed something happening, well, why is that happening? Is this person breathing really heavily? Is it because they've got a really strong hand or is it because they've got a really weak hand or is it because they've just drunk too much coffee? You've got to figure out sort of these, these different variables. You might observe, well, I've seen this star doing, is doing this. How confident am I in, in why that's happening? Same in poker. How confident am I that my opponent has gone all in and is bluffing? I'm about to risk all of my chips on this one thing. I've got to assess my confidence levels. There's a ton of crossover between science and, and poker.